Okay, so we're here at the Randox Grand National 2022 Grand Opening Day and I'm joined by Shinner from Skybet. Mate, it's good to be back here, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. Three years um, with no racing here. It's absolutely fantastic. The weather, it's going to warm up. It's going to be a nice day on Saturday. But yeah, fantastic. Really good quality racing as well. That's, you know, if you like your horse racing, there's some real top quality racing. A number of horses that ran at Cheltenham will be running here and yeah, it should be a fantastic three days. Yeah, great. And obviously first time in three years, everyone's soaking up the atmosphere. It's a first day crowd's looking pretty big pretty pretty busy already yeah you would think so in terms of an atmosphere this out this outstrips everything and by a long way yeah absolutely I mean they say the world is watching and they really really mean it so let's talk about the big race Saturday obviously you've got tips for every race but I want to talk about the big one can you give us an idea what are your tips on the tips what's happening so Snow, Le Snow Leopardess has been really well supported. She's favourite. So she's a mare. She's already been in full. So she's actually, she's got a little, there's a little Snow Leopardess running around the field, one or two years of age. Um, so it's very unusual for that to happen. She's a grey, so she's going to be popular as well. She's won at a, uh, two or three races this season. She's seven to one. She's the favourite. You've got Delta Work, who won at Cheltenham. Uh, they're the front two in the market. However, I'm going to go away from them too. The two I like, uh, a horse called Any Second Now, who was placing the race last year, uh, last year for JP McManus I think that horse will run a really big race and then there's another horse called Good Boy Bobby Daryl Jacob um, who hopefully you might catch up with a, bit, a little bit later on he rides that around about 25 33 to 1 and um, I think he's a little bit gone under the radar and I think he could run a really big race at a big price but look it's the Grand National there's 40 horses uh, you know you say anything can win it but literally you know history says 66 to 1 shots 33 to 1 shots win it so who knows Rachel Blackmore she's on Manella times again this year won the race last year that horse is 12 to 1 to win the race. Yeah. Anything could happen. Listen, Shinners, thanks very much for having a chat with us. Stick with us here at the Guy Liverpool all across the weekend to see what's happening as it happens. Cheers.